Aircraft engines have come a long way, and the latest and greatest addition to this legacy is the CFM Rise engine. The development of aviation engines is a tale of ongoing invention and progress, starting with the early piston engines that made the sound of an elephant heard, taking a flight to today's whisper-quiet turbofans. And now, enter the CFM Rise engine. This engine represents the next step in the never-ending quest to make flights safer, more effective, and more environmentally friendly. The CFM RISE technology program will soon demonstrate the open fan in a real-world environment for the first time. The objective of the program is to show the open fan design's viability for usage next-generation single-aisle aircraft. The open fan design has been studied and developed for more than 40 years, and it is now ready to have a significant impact on the aviation sector. With its RISE Technology Demonstration Program, CFM International hopes to cut fuel use and CO2 emissions by more than 20% when compared to current engines. RISE stands for Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines. New ideas must be developed in order to achieve the net zero emissions goal set for commercial aircraft by 2050. Many experts and insiders in the business don't believe the net zero goals can be achieved by 2050. This is a legitimate point of view to have while taking into account what we now know about gasoline and engines. However, significant progress has been made in the commercial aircraft industry throughout the years. GE and Safran have been at the forefront of the development of open fan design, which has been a continual process in aviation engineering. The two companies carried out a number of aeroacoustic tests in the 2000s, which led to major improvements in the technology. Safran's groundbreaking counter-rotating open rotor CROR engine test in 2017 served as proof of the technology's potential. The test, which was a component of the European Clean Sky program, revealed a 15% reduction in fuel consumption and CO2 emissions compared to current engines, making it a significant step toward a more environmentally friendly future for aviation. The effort also included GE's Avio Aero division, which has continued to develop the open fan design. They introduced a single-stage variable pitch open fan design with fixed outlet guiding vanes. With the aid of the vanes, airflow can be directed, allowing the open fan to operate at speeds comparable to those of tradition turbofan engines while achieving higher energy efficiency and lower noise levels than current generation turbofans. According to the CFM, the open fan architecture that will be used in the RISE program's demonstrations will not be like a turboprop engine. This cutting-edge, next-generation open-fan architecture will have a noise signature that complies with projected future restrictions and while still being able to fly at the same speed as modern single-aisle aircraft, which is up to Mach 0.8 or 80% the speed of sound. One of the key technologies that contribute to its improved performance is the application of advanced aerodynamics. It has features like a solitary revolving fan with carbon fiber blades of changeable pitch and a line of static guiding vanes behind it. By designing these, the engine can produce more efficient and powerful thrusts. The materials used in the CFM RISE engine further improve performance. By utilizing lighter and more durable materials, the engine's overall weight is decreased while preserving strength and longevity. For instance, the engine is made of advanced alloys and composites that can withstand extreme temperatures such as titanium and carbon fiber. The engine runs more efficiently thanks to these cutting-edge materials since it uses less energy and generates less heat. Due to their reduced susceptibility to wear and tear, the use of these materials also helps the engine last longer. The engine also has a number of design elements that enhance performance. The fan's diameter, for instance, has decreased. As we all know, the smaller fan size allows for a more competent design, as it requires less power to turn the fan and generate thrust. This contributes to the engine's improved fuel efficiency. Innovative cooling solutions on the CFM RISE engine help to boost its performance. One such system maintains the engine with its ideal operating temperature range by combining special air and oil cooling systems. By doing this, it is possible to prevent the engine from overheating or encountering other problems that can impair its performance. Although the information that's publicly available 
does not specify the precise sort of cooling system employed, it is most likely a combination of various cooling methods to control the temperature of different engine components. The CFM Rise engine was created with sustainability in mind, and it was assumed that there would be a positive effect on the environment. The reduction of carbon dioxide and other harmful pollutants is one of the many advantages. Its sustainability is further enhanced by the use of alternative energy sources like hydrogen and sustainable aviation fuels, which produce less pollution and greenhouse gas emissions than conventional fossil fuels. Another benefit is the engine's cost effectiveness, which enables airlines to save on fuel prices and lower their overall operating costs. The engine's architecture also enables greater flexibility in the deployment and design of aircraft, making it a flexible choice for carriers. The CFM Rise engine provides passengers a quieter and more comfortable flight experience compared to more conventional engines. Other contemporary engines that are currently on the market compete with the CFM Rise engine. The Pratt & Whitney PW1000G Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 and the CFM International Leap engine are a couple of examples of these engines. Popular single-aisle aircraft like the Airbus A320neo and the Boeing 737 MAX use the Pratt & Whitney PW1000 engine. It delivers better fuel economy, lower emissions and noise levels, as well as maintenance advantages. The PW1000G lacks compatibility with sustainable aviation fuels and hydrogen, which are crucial in terms of sustainability and environmental effect when compared to the CFM Rise engine. Similar performance advantages are provided by the CFM Rise engine as by the PW1000G, but environmental protection is given more attention. The Rolls-Royce Trent 1000, which powers the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and is renowned for its effectiveness, low emissions and low maintenance costs, is another engine that the CFM Rise engine competes with. The CFM Rise engine, on the other hand, provides better performance and fuel economy because of its cutting-edge cooling systems, components, and architecture. In contrast, the CFM Rise engine offers higher all-around performance and fuel efficiency, while the Trent 1000 engine may have cheaper maintenance costs, but not necessarily be specially developed for compatibility with sustainable aviation fuels. It is anticipated that both single-aisle and twin-aisle aircraft will be using the CFM Rise engine in the future. There may be advantages for different aviation sector players from the CFM Rise engine. The Rise engine's cutting-edge design and technology may result in more streamlined and effective maintenance procedures for aviation employees, including maintenance technicians. The Rise engine's enhanced fuel efficiency and performance may make flying more enjoyable and effective for pilots, enhancing job satisfaction and easing burden. The creation and use of the CFM Rise engine also demonstrates technological potential by showcasing the ability to innovate and advance current engine technology, which may result in future developments in the aviation sector. The CFM Rise engine offers a number of financial advantages, including fewer maintenance costs and decreased airline expenditures due to increased fuel efficiency. Increased demand for new aircraft could result from the CFM Rise engine, bringing additional money for suppliers and aircraft makers. Additionally, the CFM Rise engine might encourage investment and innovation in the aerospace sector, resulting in the creation of new jobs and economic growth. These advantages gradually improve the economy of the nations and areas where the aerospace sector is prevalent.